Jim Gehring here from Brown Antique Tool Auctions. What we have here today are two examples of Joseph Lee's patented stop chamfer plane. Um, a chamfer is a, uh, of course, is an angled or beveled cut along the edge of the board for decorative purposes. It can either just be a flat surface or it can be more decorative. And if it stops short of the ed end of the board, it's a stop chamfer. For some reason, uh, chamfers are one of those kind of specialized uh, cuts that fascinated plane makers and there were a lot of different types of planes invented and patented in order to make chamfer cuts. And one of the most uh, interesting is that it was patented in 1883 by Joseph Lee from Providence. Um, it came in uh, two versions, the cast iron, which is in itself pretty rare, but is much more common than the gunmetal or brass version. Um, which is very uncommon, very, very rare. Um, these both have the original form of cutter holder, which is a simple uh, nut uh, attaching it to the plane bed here. Um, this one, which is the cast iron version, has also got what he referred to as a replaceable sole, which is this brass piece here that can uh, serve as a sole for the, to form the edge of the, uh, of the chamfer. Um, they both have uh, adjustable fences. Um, it seemed like uh, Lee was always, fiddling. he only made these things, they were only made for a couple of years, and they're very rare, but he was always fiddling with the design. I sometimes think no two of them are exactly alike. This one has got something that I have never seen before, and that is, you can see, it's got this kind of swiveling piece here which holds the blade in place. So the blade clamps down here, and then this clamp, this holds the edge of the blade. That's a version that I've not seen before. So, like I said, he was always fiddling with the design. Both of them are marked with the uh, manufacturer, Horace Thruston from Providence. They're both marked on the sides. They're in pretty good shape. Um, the gunmetal one does not have a cutter with it. Um, it's got a little bit of rust uh, surface corrosion on the cast iron parts. But again, these things are so unbelievably rare that that really doesn't matter to a collector. Um, and the cast iron one is not quite as rare as the gunmetal, but it's still pretty uncommon, and it's also in pretty good shape. This one actually has a, a cutter with it. So, again, two very uncommon examples of a rare form of patent.